Good afternoon, my name's Hippie Swift and today I'm going to be running you guys at home through the Snug Pack Stratosphere Bivy Tent. This is an ultralight shelter which I think is the ultimate thing for bike packing and bicycle tourists who want to go that extra bit lighter. The first thing you'll notice is this nice little case here. It's got some winching straps so you can cinch it down effectively and a nice little dry bag comes with it. It's very compact and I highly recommend these as a material is really really good. These are extra bits, just a little bit of velcro strap. What this comes with is the main the main bivy bag system itself, tent pegs which are nice quality and the tent poles themselves are absolutely ideal and they're no more than nine inches long which is perfect for fitting inside your frame bag or anything. If you want to actually squash this down a bit more compact in your rear tail pack or anything like that. The two poles do actually have a difference. There's a fully jet black one and this black one which ends a dark green colour, like a shiny dark green. They actually go into the dark green colour sleeve ends and the poles themselves actually hoop over and crisscross each other and then slot into these little hoop eyelets down here. So let's get on with that. Right, so now the head of the bivvy's there. All we need to do now is peg this bit out just for some airflow. There's a bit of mosquito netting here for lots of, again, airflow, as well as some mesh at the front. So let's peg the actual bivvy down now. Peg this out with a spared stake type thing and then get inside and see what it looks like. And there we have it, that's the Stratosphere tent all nicely set up in water and wind repellent and waterproof, sorry. Trying to get rid of these elastic bands before it cuts off my circulation. And then we take a look inside. For some of the features on this tent, it's actually really, really water repellent. There's some Velcro here, going down to a, another tapered seam type thing, all the way across. How you enter and exit the tent, if I find it. <laughs> There's a big zip up here, just like that. You could actually leave it open in the night, but there's not much need for that. This is actually a mosquito net in the top of this. So with a little faffing about, you can just do that up with the mesh mosquito net there. Nice and breathable, as well as letting a nice breeze through towards the back. And this breathable mesh really helps stop condensation building up inside your bag, getting everything damp and moist, and you'll end up cold in the night sometimes as well. So a great tip for this is to open up all the vents in your tent when it's not raining. This tent is perfectly waterproof, but of course, these seams do need to be in place. If they're down at all, moisture could build up here and get inside through the zip. So it's always worth it just to fold it over and put it onto the Velcro, and that will promote a nice little environment for you to help maintain a warm and dry night's sleep. Opening up the bivy, you can see lots of room to get in. This zip actually runs near enough near enough a foot off your feet type thing so you can get in it with plenty of room just like that I'll actually demonstrate getting in this bag now I wasn't going to but I will just for the comedy factor but yeah to be fair it's plenty nicely nice and room you can sleep on your side without much issue at all and I really look forward to using this little bivy tent the reason I chose this style bivy tent with a hoot up here was more or less I'm sick and tired of carrying a separate big mosquito net, dry liner, bivy bag for my sleeping bag and uh, all the accessories and uh, a big tarp as well. Uh, with this everything's in one place and it's lighter and more compact 
than all my lightweight equipment I already have separately so uh, even though you can put the bivy bag in one pouch on your bike and your mosquito net in another type thing this just on the front of your bar bag type thing bike pack and a bicycle touring and with your clothes or whatever again it's got a waterproof case so you can put it out on the outskirts as well of your bags don't have to be waterproof environment for it main benefit for me it's nice and simple there's no faffing about in the night trying to get your tarp up and then your bivy bag out and then your sleeping bag in there and then after that of course you have to block your sleeping pad as well your sleeping mat sorry so uh, lots of faffing about with this you just put it down put your sleeping mat in sleeping bag in it done you know there's no faffing about at all you don't even really need a sleeping bag with this if it's if you're lightweight bike packing you don't need a sleeping bag I use the snug pack adventure racing sleeping bag uh, along with this uh, adventure racing vest from snug pack again highly recommended for cycling or camping backpacking whatever uh, no sleeve so it's nice and breathable again always have airflow whatever you're wearing whatever you're in nice airflow keeps you nice and warm and dry so just to clarify this is my ultimate tent this is going to do me well for the next few years i reckon lightweight bike packing bicycle touring whatever just wild camping in general all over the united kingdom i have some really nice plans for this so i really look forward to all of the adventures and opportunities that this small bivy can give me for stealth camping wherever i am at just over a kilo in weight this is pretty much one of the lightest bivy or tent setups that you're going to be able to find for bicycle touring and bike packing unless you're spending six seven eight hundred dollars something like that and then you'll be looking into a supreme lightweight range i would just like to point out that this is my honest opinion from my six to seven years bike packing and bicycle touring all over the united kingdom if you like this video or wish to find out more about snug pack products like this bivy setup or my vest and sleeping bag then look in the description box below this video if you'd like to see more videos of mine and adventures and reviews please click the link down here or even in the top right hand corner there'll be cars popping up any second now till next time stay safe and hope you find peace oh.